Hello everyone, my name is Katie Webb. I've been a Beach Boy fan since 2004, for those who don't know me. However, I took a 13-year mental health break from their fandom and only came back to it last year. I have many feelings about the passing of Melinda Wilson, but I couldn't express them in text, so I decided to speak to you, the listener, wherever you are. I'm still figuring out how you'll react to my words, but that's not up to me. I apologize in advance for the length of this video. There's just so much to cover. Let me tell you about how I met Melinda Wilson in 2005 at the Mann Music Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I was just 16 years old at the time, and I had already seen Brian Wilson play Smile uh, once before at the Keswick Theater in Glenside, Pennsylvania in 2004. I was there to meet up with a fellow musician, whose name was Dudley Sirius, who had sold me a ticket to be closer to the stage. Um, my mother was also in attendance, as she was my ride. She always supported my hobbies, and I'm grateful for that. I'm still determining where the idea of the box collage came from, but I was looking for a unique gift for Brian. I wish I'd taken more pictures of it, but I only have one from far away, sadly. Um, I used magazines. I was in charge of removing old magazines at the public library where I worked, so I would bring them home, cut them up, and I was making endless um, picture and word collages. I had made one for Brian, and it was a last-minute decision to take it to the show. It was actually my mother who insisted I take it with me because, you know, she was like, oh, you never know. So I have her to thank a little bit on that, too. So when we arrived at the venue, we were there bright and early when the doors opened. I noticed Melinda sitting with her entourage only because of my friend Dudley. I got very excited, but I wasn't sure what to do. Uh, Dudley suggested I talk to her and present my collage, but I was too scared. What if she didn't want fans anywhere near her? Considering how uncomfortable some fans can be, I wouldn't have blamed her. However, Dudley insisted saying, you have one shot at this. Go do it. <laughs> so with total fear in my heart, I approached Melinda and the others sitting there with my collage. I was shaking with fear as I reached them. When someone no noticed me politely, I barely squeaked in, excuse me. I explained to them calmly that I made this collage for Brian, how much of a fan I was. I was so nervous that I couldn't even say Brian's name. I could only refer to him as your husband. I told them I had made many friends in the fandom, how honored I was to meet Melinda. I remember she held my hand and looked me directly in the eye. She could have acted like I was a nuisance, but she didn't. She thanked me for my passion and took what I made backstage so he could see it. I felt satisfied when I returned to my seat. I couldn't believe that I mustered the courage to do it. These events set the stage for the second time I saw Brian Wilson present Smile Played Live. It was a magical night. So many of my friends came to see it. That's the one thing people don't understand about me when I talk about being in his fandom. The fandom and the band always felt like family to me. Was it naive of me? Absolutely. However, that's for another time. After the show, I saw two friends with backstage passes to see Brian. I was so jealous. When Brian was touring Smile, people were convinced that this would be the last tour he would ever do. How could he possibly top touring Smile? He had talked about being glad he did this before he died. It felt like once again I had been cheated out at meeting him. It was never going to happen now. I had no connections. I was, just, I was just a child with a box collage who loved Brian's music. I began to cry. After seeing Brian, Mom asked security where he went. The guard informed us that there was a meet and greet behind the stage and a long line of people with passes waiting to meet him. I went near his tour bus hoping to glimpse him, get a glimpse of him, but I was really just disappointed to make matters worse it started to rain heavily um as i wandered around the area i met and spent time with a stray cat <laughs> a man in line asked me if i was okay because he felt really sorry for me i desired to meet brian perhaps i because i thought everyone else had met him except me as i always felt like an outsider the news was just unsurprising and it, that just made me cry harder honestly uh, my mom got tired of me whining and went up to the security guard where the line of people had left. She explained that I had made this collage and wanted to meet Brian. I had no 
idea. Melinda was sitting right behind the security guard, and she allowed me to meet him. When I was about to meet Brian, I became nervous. Many people have diff different stories about meeting him, some good, some bad, some ugly. Some even said that Brian would just stare into space, unaware he was in the same room as you. However, Melinda told him about me and my collage. As Brian stood up, he asked where I, where I was. His words shook me to my core. Where's Katie? It was as if God himself had said my name. It didn't matter if I was going to meet him or not now. He had acknowledged my measly existence in that moment. My legs were giving way. I could see the headlines now. Teenage Brian Wilson fan faints, head first on the floor seeing Idol. If it wasn't for my mother kicking me through the door, I would have just fainted, and that would have been the end of the story. I shook as I went to where he was sitting behind a table. Hi, Brian. I was barely able to squeak out. The whole room faded except me and him in that moment, staring into those crystal blue eyes I've never seen on anyone before or since. I could barely breathe, let alone think. We spent more time staring at each other than saying anything. I would let Brian be however he wanted to be in that moment. There was a sincere mutual understanding. His greatness hung in the room like a heavy weighted blanket. His intensity was at 10. I had never met anyone I... I loved more than him. It was as if I had wings. Brian noticed a photographer wanted a picture of us, but I needed to be more focused to understand. So he took charge. He wrapped his arm around my waist and pulled me around the table to be close to him. There I was, the words rolling out of my mouth. Brian, you're so strong. As they took the pictures of us. I only remember little else about the rest of that experience. I'll never forget how grateful I was to meet Brian and that Melinda ultimately made that call. She could have easily told my mother I didn't have a pass and that was just too bad. However, she gave me an experience that still means so much today. As the years have passed, I learned more about Melinda and her place in Brian Wilson's history. I've been disappointed with various things I heard over the years. I didn't bother seeing Love and Mercy when it appeared in theaters. Brian's story has not been accurately portrayed in public, so the sanitized version did not come as a surprise. I'll share my take on this at a later time. However, I cannot imagine how I would have viewed Brian if I hadn't met him that night, if she hadn't been so receptive to what I'd given her. These events solidified my passion for Brian Wilson and made me appreciate him for life. Time may have weathered some of my views of her, but I cannot thank her enough. I know a lot of people will miss her, especially her children. I can only hope that Brian is surrounded by people who will not profit or exploit his vulnerability. The man has suffered so much of his life and he deserves only peace. I want you to remember this, Melinda. You were not perfect, but you significantly impacted my life. During the time when I was impatient consistently for my mental health struggles, my mother carried pictures of me and Brian from that day in her purse. She always did this to remember one of the rare moments where I was truly happy. A lot of men have disappointed me in my life. You made sure that Brian was not one of them. I may never understand some of what you did, but I'll never forget your kindness that day. So thank you, Melinda. Thank you to anyone who cared to listen to this, and may God help us all.